Hey UCLA fans, thank you for watching and welcome back to Bruin Banter. Unfortunately, we had a rough weekend at the University of Utah, but we're excited to get back in the gym, work on all of our mistakes, and get ready for battle at our next home meet this Sunday. Before we talk more about the meet, I would love to introduce to you one of the most consistent athletes on our team this year, and someone that came all the way from a different country, Michaela Gerber. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Michaela. Sounds weird calling you Michaela. Yeah, no one we ever all calls call her me. Mick. But I was trying to be professional. So, tell me what it's like coming all the way from Canada to come to school here at UCLA. Uh, it has its ups and downs. You know, I miss home. I miss the four seasons and sometimes the cold. Although I love having heat in the middle of winter, it's really nice. So, how are your parents able to follow along your gymnastic success all the way here at, at UCLA? Well, the Pac-12 Network has a YouTube channel that they can stream our meets on. So whenever we're competing and it's playing on the Pac-12 Network, they get to watch our meets and be a part of it, which is really cool. Yeah, we love when parents are able to follow us on the road. And it was really great that last week we had a bunch of parents come and check out a practice. Why don't you see what they have to say about it? So in terms of getting here, the total journey time, if we're lucky, is about 17 hours. We're from New York. It is about a six hour flight from New York here. It's a five hour flight from uh, Toronto to Los Angeles. It's a far trip, um, but we knew she'd be great. And she's always been very independent and she's always loved LA. So it was a perfect fit for her. Well, she made the decision when she was 15 years old. So she was still a little kid, um, wasn't competing at the time. We weren't sure if she was still going to do gymnastics or not, but she's definitely um, not a quitter. That's for sure. UCLA's always been a dream school. And there's a letter that she writes to herself when she was in fifth grade. And she says, my mom's not going to like it, but I'm going to UCLA or Stanford. And it happened. It was unexpected because she already had secured a place at Sheffield University. But I think as soon as I heard about the opportunity, I knew it was one not to be missed. And I think as soon as she understood what the opportunity entailed, what it would be like out here, I mean, I didn't need to tell her how fantastic this was as a university. I think everybody knows that. We try to talk maybe every two or three days. We text a lot. We don't call that frequently, but we do. We text, you know, every day. Oh, we do what everyone else does. We just follow her on Twitter. I've been instructed to follow her on Twitter so that I may keep some semblance of knowledge about what's going on in her life. We have no idea what she's doing. She doesn't call, she doesn't email. Every once in a while she'll Skype us when she needs help on homework. We you know, FaceTime or Skype, she gets in touch with me uh, certainly when she needs any extra money. But other than that, we just uh, log into Twitter and we see whether she's got an exam that day or whether she's studying or if something's bothering her. That's how we find out as parents. I don't do Twitter, I don't do Facebook, I don't do Instagram. She does too many selfies. I think it would be a waste of my time to even try to follow her. It's just tired seeing pictures of Rochelle. I'm absolutely delighted that Jenny's out here. It's, it's a fabulous place. She's surrounded by you know really driven, capable, warm, loving people. So I couldn't be happier. Uh, well, I could actually if she was just a little bit closer to home. So Mick, do you keep in touch with your parents any better than Peng and Jen? Um, I think so. I really try and uh, keep in touch with them. Uh, I'll text them almost every day and yeah, so I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to check in with Michaela's parents to see if that's accurate. But let's talk about the meet. You've been really consistent all season on the events that you've competed. Can you talk about how you have built that sort of reputation on our team this year? Well, last year was a really rough year for me. I didn't really compete at all. I exhibitioned a few times, but I wasn't the athlete that I need to be. So this summer I worked really hard and just kind of figured out what works for me and just doing that every time. You're only a sophomore, but it seems like you did 180 degree transition <laughs> from last year, Michaela, to this year, Michaela. Is there one thing in particular that jump-started that? Well, Aisha was really influential over me because she was my coach over the summer. And we've Aisha, <laughs> if you don't know, I competed with. So it's really fun to have been a teammate to both of the Gerbers. Yeah, yeah it's um, so she really like helped me to, you know, like find that headspace that worked for me. And it became a decision for me. I decided that I was going to be the Bruin that I wanted to be. So what did make freshman year so tough for you? Uh, freshman year I feel is difficult for everyone. It's mm -hmm. totally different from club or elite gymnastics. Uh, you're on a team yeah. and figuring that out and also 
figuring out who I was uh, without being an Aisha's shadow. I feel like I'm a bit more of a, kind of like paying old, just like randomly start dancing or singing yeah. and just kind of, I like to keep everything light and. That's amazing, so what type of dance do you like to do? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite singer? What's your favorite type of music? <laughs> just trying to know more about you, Mick. <laughs> Well, I feel like I have a very different musical taste than most of the team. I'm kind of like the rocker chick. <laughs> That's something you would never guess. <laughs> Michaela Gerber, the rocker chick. So uh, I'm thinking next year, Miss Val, a classic <laughs> rock floor team, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. Looking back at last week's meet, it was definitely rough for us. What do you think the team needs to do moving forward? Um, I think we really just need to focus on doing what we do in practice in the meet. So it's really just bringing that to the competition floor and believing that we're capable of doing that, which we are. Definitely. There was, however, some really good things that happened this weekend. Why don't you check them out? Second I've got a partner scarf and a hat. watching another episode of Bruin Banter. We're really excited for a fun weekend. Michaela, do you know what it is? An epic UCLA gymnastics meet? Definitely, and I'm also really looking forward to the Super Bowl, so hopefully you guys can all join us at Poly Pavilion, 10 a.m. for the Super Bowl pre-party. We'll see you then.